Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, All Things Trek 47. Bienvenidos, thanks so much for being here today. In this video, I'm going to go over how to acquire tier 6 ships on a free-to-play account. And um, I'm going to actually acquire three ships. I'm going to show you how I'm able to do that and also which ships I'm going to get and why. So I hope that this video will be informative to you if you are a free-to-play player. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Dale. So here we are with Enrique Cervantes. He is my temporal agent character on my free to play account. I have two characters currently, this character and Solek, which is the one that I've been using for the play along series. Now, I do have one tier six ship unlocked on this account. I'm not using them on Solek because I just want to show the ships that you get as you level up and you know, the kind of damage you can do with them and things like that. So I'm not trying to start off um, that character with the tier 6 ship, but this one I've been leveling them up um, for a while now and I started off with the one tier 6 ship that is available on my account. So if you go to ships and right here you'll be able to see the ships that are unlocked in this account. Not a lot. Um, three of these are actually shuttles. <laughs> so the only tier 6 ship that I have unlocked is this Reliant class advanced light cruiser and this ship I got for free with a code um, I believe it was either Alienware or Intel Gaming. Um, they give away free free Star Trek Online codes from time to time. And I was able to grab one of those codes and unlock this ship and some slots. So that's all I have. Well, actually that's not true. I do have another tier six ship and that is the Somerville, the Terran Somerville that came out recently. I played the, the campaign for that or whatever and um, I was able to unlock that ship but I'm not, again, I'm not currently using that one um, either on Salt Lake. So just on this character right here. So the Somerville, the Terran Somerville was actually a really nice ship. And um, I think that's the one I currently have on this character that I'm, that I'm using. But before I had that one, I had this Reliant and that's what I used for a while. So I'm excited today though, because again, I get to unlock three tier six ships now. As you can see in my inventory, I have these two icons right here. I don't know if you see them. These are tier six ship coupons. I got these from the event campaign. Now there's an event campaign for that is currently still live. So hopefully you've done these. So there's, there's different um, events that happen throughout the year. There's five total. And if you complete all five, you will eventually get the grand reward or the grand prize and that is either a tier six premium ship of your choice that is character unlocked only so it won't be unlocked for all the characters in your account only one character in your account the one that you unlock it on you can get two tier six ship tokens that can be used in the zen store and these two ships that you choose will be account unlocked for any character in your account or you can get 1500 low buy and get one ship from the low buy store and some consoles now if you do get a ship from the low buy store again that is only character unlocked it is not account unlocked so you can't reuse that on a different character so for me the best bank for my buck was going to be the two tier six ship coupons because i'll be able to get two ships that i could unlock and in the future I could use one of those tier six ships or all of them at one point or another on my character Solik, which I am um, currently um, ranking up right now. So, so yeah, so I think that's going to give more bang for your buck, but that's not the only reason. Um, the unlock for, for the entire account is not the only reason to choose this and I'm going to show you which ships I'm going to choose and why. So actually let's do that right now. So let's go back to the Zen store. And we're gonna go ahead to ships and I'm gonna click on this purchase and put not purchased. And as you'll be able to see, there's a lot of ships that I have not purchased and a lot of ships to choose from. We're gonna go with tier six up here and they're gonna be all Federation ships. Just letting you know um, right now ahead of time. Um, 
and I'll show you which ones right now. So the first one I'm gonna get is the Bozeman Intel Heavy Frigate. Now you'll notice that I have right here some ships that show coupon 100% off, right? So because I have two tier six ship coupons, I'll be able to grab these with one of those coupons and I don't have to spend any of my actual Zen, right? But this Bozeman one, it doesn't have that. And the reason is because when a ship is a little bit too new, you won't be able to use a tier six ship coupons on them. They have to have been in the game for a little bit longer. And unfortunately, some of these ships right here, in fact, the first four on this list happen to be a little too new to grab. But I am going to be able to grab this Bozeman because I do actually have some Zen, which I've um, grinded out for. So the way that I've done that is by going to the Dilithium store and going to where it says buy Dilithium actually what I'm trying to do is buy Zen, right? So as you can see, I have an offer up here already for some Zen and little by little, you start grabbing um, some Zen. Now, this is not the fastest thing to do. It's taking a lot longer these days than it used to. And as you can see, in all this time, I've only been able to grind up to 2,350 Zen. And that's not even enough for one tier six ship because a tier six ship is usually 3,000 Zen. So unfortunately, it's not even enough for a tier five ship because tier five ships are usually 2,500 Zen. However, I lucked out because right now there's a sale on the Zen store and it was part of the Black Friday sale that is still going to today. I believe today is the last day for that. Um, and I'm going to be able to acquire one of these tier six ships because I have just barely enough Zen. See, I have 2,350 Zen and right now with the sale, the tier six ships are 2,250. So I just, I lucked out really on this. So um, just be aware though, that you can go ahead and trade in Dilithium for Zen. It does take a while. <laughs> it takes a while and it takes a lot of Dilithium. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Bozeman Intel Heavy Frigate, which is a newer ship. The reason why I'm choosing this ship is because of Number one, it has a great console, which is called the Tachyon Net Drones. What this console does, um, the passives is what I, I kind of really want. The passives have start gives you Starship Perception, which is to find cloaked ships and stuff like that. That's not what I care about much, but it's got critical hit chance and critical severity. So very few consoles in the Zen store will give you critical hit chance or critical severity. So that's a plus. Anything that gives you just a little bit more damage um, is great. But also the clicky on it is really good. It basically creates, mm, what would I call that? Kind of like a net around a ship, um, kind of like the Tholians do a little bit. And what that'll do is it'll uh, drain the shields of anything that's inside and you can go ahead and hit them um, with your weapons and just kill them off a lot faster. So um, again, that console is the Tachyon Net Drones. Really good console for a, a Z store option. And the ship itself um, has Raider flanking, which is great. So that means that it'll do a lot more damage when you are flanking a ship. Um, so basically from the back or from the sides. And um, it's just, yeah, it's, it's a great, great ability to have. So that is, um, one of the great things, one of the two great things about this ship, um, and it's very versatile. It's just a versatile ship. So the Bozeman is going to be my first pick. I'm going to get that one with the actual Zen that I have. Now the other two ships, I'm going to grab the Arbiter class because I don't have that on this account yet. The Arbiter, I asked around, by the way, um, special thanks to, uh, uh, Pirate Scum Gaming and Mad Dog Mikey for their help in this and Geek and Lonely also from my Discord server who uh, gave me some suggestion on which ships to get for this video. The Arbiter class keeps being one of the top picks always that people say whenever you get your first enough Zen to get your first tier six ship or whenever you get a tier six ship coupon, the first tier six ship that you're probably gonna wanna get is the Arbiter class battlecruiser. Now, it is an older ship, 
and the look is really an acquired taste for a lot of people. To me, the, the, the saucer section looks a bit more like a cobra head, or a snake head. I think that is what they were going for, but the visuals on this ship aren't spectacular necessarily. It's a little bit dated, and it's not one that, you know, Thomas Maroney has, uh, has put any love into as far as making it look better, and it, it's just an older ship. But, um, but the trait on this thing is really good, and the trait that you get basically, you know, you upgrade the ship and it unlocks a trait at the end. The Starship trait is called Emergency Weapon Cycle. Now, Emergency Weapon Cycle, what it does is it allows your beams to fire more rapidly, but also, even though they fire a little bit more rapidly, they also drain less energy. So, I mean, that's fantastic. And it's not just beam, sorry, it's any energy weapon, basically. So your energy weapons will, um, it'll, you know, with this trait, you have reduced weapons power costs and increased weapons firing rate. So you hit a lot faster and, um, which allows you to take care of the enemy faster, but also, you don't drain as much energy from your, from your weapons. So this trait has been a must have for a long time. It looks like it will be for a while still because of just of, of what that trait does for your weapons. So I'm gonna get the Arbiter class. The ship itself actually, the, the it's got five, four weapons, three aft, the ceiling's decent. Um, it's still a very serviceable ship even nowadays and can be a really powerful ship depending on how you uh, you deck it out with your weapons and consoles and things like that. So it's still a very good ship to, to fly around in. Just the aesthetics, personally for me, are not the greatest. But, you know, again, I'm getting three ships. So I'm okay with having one that doesn't look fantastic, but the trade is fantastic on it. So, you know, for me, it's okay. Now, the third ship that I'm gonna get, and this one I hadn't really thought about until I started talking to uh, specifically Mad Dog Mikey and it's the Equinox. I do like the look of this ship. I think it looks nice, it looks clean, and you can get the um, the regular um, look to it also, which is the um, the actual original Equinox um, look from from that one episode of Voyager. So in case you don't like this this new look that they put on it, you could you get the original look, which has also been redesigned um, by Thomas Peroni, it looks great. I think it was by Thomas, um, but yeah, they recently, well not recently, but maybe a couple years back, redid the look of that ship or just kind of made it look more uh, more like the show, so it looks great. Now this ship gives you piloting abilities, and piloting abilities um, are kind of really fun to play around with because you can zip, you know, to the left, to the right forwards and backwards and just gives you the ability to kind of zip around the map so it's very fast very nimble ship um but the trade on this is really good too and that trade is synthetic good fortune and synthetic good fortune you know is, is a good trait if you're trying to do like a science build but really if, if you're on a budget and you are a free-to-play player you're probably not gonna go necessarily for for science builds i mean you can but you're probably not going to because if you want to do like high-end science damage um, it's just very costly but basically this trait also has a passive that boosts travel in sector space now I was thinking you know for my free-to-play account one of the things that I do for EC is run tour of the galaxy now usually I don't get to complete tour of the galaxy because I don't have a ship that's fast enough for the consoles that people use to like do the entire tour of the galaxy quickly and make that 1.2 something million EC a day, right? So I get significantly less than that, you know, but I still run it because I'm still grabbing like 250,000 EC a day, you know, or 300,000 EC a day. Um, so it's still a nice amount of EC just for running tour of the galaxy and you know, when you're free to play player, anything that gives you extra currency and you could use to buy, say, um, different consoles on the exchange or weapons and things like that, all that stuff is valuable, right? So having a trait 
that will help me with Tour of the Galaxy to get even more EC is going to be fantastic. You know, and so this ship and alone, I mean, I think it looks beautiful and I think it plays very well. So I think that's a good idea um, to grab this ship and just for that trait, not just for the trait, sorry, but also for um, for the fact that it is a fun ship to play in and it has that pilot abilities, but also it has Raider flanking, I believe. Let me see if that's true. Looking around here, yep, it's got Raider flanking. So again, another ship with Raider flanking, where you can do more damage from the sides and from the back of a ship. Um, help you do more damage in the long run, it's great. So those are the three ships I'm gonna get. Again, the Equinox, I'm gonna get the Arbiter, and I'm going to get with my actual Zen, this Bozeman Intel Heavy Frigate. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase those right now. All right, the Bozeman has been purchased. Let me go ahead and get the Arbiter. Where are you, Arbiter? Well, you know, one of the things that you can get also, well, let me get the Equinox first. So I'll buy that one with my tier six ship coupon. Click OK. As you can see that coupon, one of the coupons is spent, but I have my ship. And let me find that Arbiter. You know, one of the things you can do too is actually type in the type of ship, oops, that you are looking for. And there it is. So there we go. I have my three ships. And now if you want to take a look at them, you can go over to um, Earth Space Dock, come down and talk to this guy right here, this character, and um, go to Manage Ships, and you'll be able to see the ships that you currently have. Now this is my, again, my Terran Somerville scout ship. Great ship, this was free um, from an event. And um, now I have the, here we go, the Arbiter and Pizarro, which is the Bozeman and the Sabine, which is the Equinox pilot ship. So that's it. I have three new ships, three new tier ships for my account. Now if you go back to the Zen store and you go back to where it says ships and now um, let me erase here Arbiter and if I go to my purchase ships you'll be able to see that I have Bozeman, the Arbiter, the Equinox and now the Reliant as well that I had before. So four tier six ships from the Zen store, one ship from the from an event um, that we had in game, which is again the Terran Somerville. So I have a total of one, two, three, four, five tier six ships on my free to play account. Some ships that will be very valuable to my continued um, gathering of resources within the game. Again, like the Equinox, which is going to help me do Tour of the Galaxy a little bit better. And the Arbiter, which is going to help me, the trait's going to help me do more damage with my um, ships and things like that. So um, I'll be able to do TFOs a little bit better and grab some of those um, some of those reputation marks and things like that to be able to get better um, consoles for my ships. So I hope that this video has been informative. Um, again, you don't have to spend any in real life money on this game if you don't want to. Um, I got five tier six ships right now on this account, this free to play account, and I didn't spend a dime on them. You know, all I did was play the game and now I'm gonna have ships that I can use um, that'll help me um, in my gameplay. So if you have any questions, please feel free to um, join my Discord page. You can put your questions there or you can put your questions in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And thanks again to everybody who helped me pick out the ships. Um, for this account and um, later on I will go ahead and kind of play with those ships for a little bit so that you guys can see how they handle within the game it won't be on my character Solik again that character will not be using any of these ships up until probably I reach level 65 of that character because I would just want to show you the experience if you have no tier 6 ships how that what that looks like on a character and how you can still level that character to level 65 without any tier six ships. So 
Um, yeah, again, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them down below or join the Discord page that will be also um, down below. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving if you were here in the United States and that you ate a lot of good food. Live long and prosper. Take care, y'all.